Hi beauties! If you don't know me yet, my name is Ingrida and welcome to my channel. So this video I'll try to make as short as possible. <laughs> so this video I'm gonna do a daytime glam to a nighttime glam, the same makeup, just ramp it up to the nighttime glam if that makes any sense at all. So yeah, so I'll show you a daytime glam and then a nighttime glam and I think I'm just gonna stop talking and let you jump into the actual tutorial. And for the eyeshadow today, I think let's just use this Too Faced Peach, Sweet Peach palette. I actually did a review on this, more like a comparison review, cause I got Oops, because I got a real one and a fake one. This is a real one, obviously. So I did a video on it. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in there so you guys can watch it after this video. So I'm taking this beautiful color, light pinkish color called Georgia. And I'll go, I'll take a little bit and go a little bit higher than my crease would be. And for another, as a transition color, we're gonna take a color called Pure, this one in here, which is like a brownish, warm brownish color, and the same brush, and go in exactly the same place. So next thing I'm doing, I'm just taking a clean base shadow brush and a color called Peaches and Cream, this light beige color in the corner. And just gonna apply all over my mobile lid. So next thing we're gonna do, we'll take a small dense brush. This one is smudge brush, and the darker color called a charm. I'm sure this one in here on uh, outer corners, top lid outer corners, and drag a little bit in just to intensify that part to make a bit intense. Taking the same brush that I used for blending and just gonna blend a tiny bit. All right, and the easy part, I'm just gonna use my finger and a color called a nectar, which is like a shimmery one. And I'm just gonna apply in the middle of my mobile lid. And the same base shadow brush that we used to apply the peaches and cream color, this light color on the mobile lid and just blending this all out. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm taking this Maybelline Elastic Drama Gel 24 uh, black gel liner pencil thing and just gonna line very, very close to the lash line. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm taking the liner, I'm taking this one by NYX Matte Liquid Liner in a black and gonna draw a small, tiny, teeny, weeny wing, the smallest possible because we're going for a daytime look now. So drawing it very close to the lash line first. And if you're struggling to draw a wing, keep your hands steady, like on a table or with your hands. I actually did video on how to do wing liner for hooded eyes. I'll link it in here if you wanna check it out, guys. All right, so a wing liner is on. Next thing I'm gonna do, this is completely optional. You could go with a mascara only because the daytime look and would be fine, but I really wanna apply uh, falsies and I'm gonna use these kind of natural looking by e.l.f. I don't remember the name of these cause I took, a, took it out of the package, but basically they have like black and brown mixed in and they're not too long. So I think they're good for daytime. But as I'm saying, this is completely optional. You can just go with mascara and you would be totally fine. So I'm gonna jump in and quickly apply this on and then I'll get back to use. And the lashes are on. As I mentioned, this is so optional. You could just go with the mascara and you would be done. But as this is a daytime glam, I thought I'm gonna go with the falsies as I really wanted, but it's an optional thing. If you don't feel like going for falsies, go with mascara. So I added a little bit of the Miss Baby Roll by L'Oreal mascara to match my natural lashes with the falsies as my natural lashes are a bit lighter than black. <laughs> so yeah, so I added a tiny bit just to match with the falsies. So next thing I'm gonna do, I will apply a foundation and so on. So we're gonna start with uh, priming my face with Maybelline Baby Skin Insert for a reason. 
For my foundation, I'm gonna use Max Fix Fluid in NC25, as I'm a bit tan now, and then I will do a little bit of contouring using this Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer, basically just under the eyes, the bridge of my nose, a bit of a forehead, just a tiny brightening. And then set everything with this hashtag InstaFix and made Rimmel powder and then bronze a little bit with Benefit Hula bronzer, use on the cheeks Hula colorista and a bit of highlighter. All right, let's jump in and do a little bit of contour. So I'm gonna use a hula bronzer to contour a little bit and then a colorista as my blush. All right, let's apply a little bit of a product on the lower lash line, lips, highlighter. Oh, let's do highlighter first. So for highlight, I think today I'm gonna use Soft and Gentle by MAC. All right, so for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take a small dense brush again. So it's a clean smudge brush in a color called color color called Georgia. This one in here, light pinkish, and just gonna go on my lower lash line. As it's still a daytime glam, so we wanna brighten this area a little bit, and gonna brighten the inner corners of my eye a little bit as well. So taking a small tiny brush and this color called a nectar in here. I'm gonna go with this uh, Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner in color nude, I think. And just gonna go on my waterline. And then I'm just gonna jump and apply this mascara. So I applied a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes, just a tiny bit, not too heavy, not too much. And for the lips, I think we should keep it nude as it's a daytime glam. So I'm gonna go with this Maybelline Lip Color Drama Lip Contour Palette. I did a review on this actually, and I'll link it in here if you guys wanna check it out. I'm gonna go with this top color in here, which is a perfect nude. And ta-da, daytime glam completed. Alright, so daytime is complete, I mean daytime look. <laughs> and let's say you are busy bee and you're going out and you don't have time to do a brand new makeup or you got invited somewhere like spontaneously or something like that. Anyways, if you don't have time to do your makeup up for a night out and you want just to kind of refresh your daytime look and vamp it up a little bit, I will show you how. So we're just gonna add a tiny bit more on the same look that we have already. So I'm gonna use the same color that I used before called Charmed, I'm sure, in a corner in there, and the small dense brush that I used before. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw kind of like a C shape on the outer corners, just to put a bit more in, just to accent eyes a little bit more. I'm just dragging a tiny bit into the middle. Can you see that already? So we're gonna blend it obviously, we're not gonna leave it like this. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit more of that glitter and sparkle look a bit, you know, you need a bit of for evening. So we'll take this nectar, which is kind of shimmery color that we used before and just add a little bit more in the middle. Just gonna use a finger to pack it on. So it's gonna be a little bit more intense than for the daytime. If you feel, this is completely optional, if you feel like you can go in and add a little bit of more of the liner and get a bigger wing. So I'm gonna do just a tiny bit, but this is completely optional, you don't need to do that. You can just leave eyes the way they are now, but I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny bit as I want it. So I made my wings a little bit longer 
and a little bit bigger because it's a night out one so why not night out glam thing and if you will be adding a little bit eyeshadow probably gonna some of the fallouts gonna stay on your falses or your mascara so what you do you take a little bit of mascara clean it off and add it on or you, if you have take a clean mascara band that doesn't have any mascara on and just clear a fallout but this is completely optional as i said and because it's a night out thing like night out glam look we can add a little bit of more shadow on the lower lash line so this is what we're gonna do so i'm taking the same base shadow brush that i used before and i'm gonna add a little bit more of this georgia in the middle in a in a corner so my eye like lower lash line and taking another dense brush in a color called puree this one in here the brown color and just gonna add on the outer corners on the lower lash line and i think the eyes are done obviously you can go and build more color and add more things it's totally up to you guys the way you feel the way you want to wear it but to finish this off i feel like for the night out you should vamp your lips a little bit so i'm gonna use a red lippy i think i'm gonna go with the makeup revolution called flaming one which is a red lipstick i'm just gonna pack it on the top of the lipstick that i have already so that's gonna stop it from bleeding in our nighttime glam look is complete super easy steps from daytime glam to nighttime glam Thank you so much for spending your time watching this video i really hope it was helpful and you learned something new and if you will have like an expected night out or you just don't have time to redo your makeup from a to z but you want to go out and enjoy your time <laughs> this video would be actually helpful because i feel like it's super easy to just vamp it up your makeup a little bit and make it nighttime ready like nighttime glam as this makeup look is honestly super easy as you've seen to do and it's not hard to recreate so really hope you're gonna do that if so don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as this would mean a lot to me and leave a comment down below if this was helpful and if you would do something like this just you know do a wee touch-ups like little touch-ups on your eyes and on your lips to make it a nighttime glam and if you feel like you can always add a little bit of more contour a little bit more of highlighter to make your cheeks pop a little bit more but for me i think this is pretty good for the night out especially if you don't have time as you seen to vamp it up it took a few minutes if not less so really hope you enjoyed watching this video and i can't wait to share more videos with you guys and i'll see you very very soon so thanks so much for watching and bye